Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which gives me the ideal opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with the world of Transformers, with what I found on loads of different internet sites and of course social media. And I can also keep you guys updated with what's going on with my YouTube and of course my Instagram, which is Toys underscore R Us. Now, there's only one place to start, I think, and that is of course the new in-hand images of Studio Series brawn and out of all of the um i suppose reveals that we had a couple of weeks ago this was the guy i was most looking forward to really really was looking forward to him i think he looks really good he actually looks is it like man at arms i think what is whatever his name was on him he man he looks a bit like him there but as i say this is the guy that ultimo is brilliant as well this is the guy i was most excited for but more so than Soundwave. Um, there you go, there he is of course with some more of the Bumblebee Studio Series characters, but yeah, this is the guy that I'm most looking forward to. Um, and I think for me, unfortunately, this guy is definitely going to be a banker, I'm going to have to get him really, really liking him. Um, and yeah, unfortunately I can't tell you when it's out, I don't know, but just, yeah, one of, my, one of the best Studio Series figures that I think I've ever seen anyway, really liking it. So yeah, we've got so much to go through. Sorry, I should have said at the beginning. So I've got some third party stuff. Um, let's just carry on, we might as well. And again, a lot of these we already know about, but it's just more in-hand images. So we've got Moon Studios take on, uh, this guy's Cayenne. So we've got some more in-hand images. Um, Iron Arm, I think this guy's officially known as by Moon Studios, but I know him, yeah, there, there you go. I know him as um, Cayenne, that was his original name. And they just seem to be, well, firing these out don't they Takara have only got the one which is of course Shuki but these Moon Studios they've got at least four already maybe nearly all of them and they look really good I've been speaking to a couple of guys offline and I'm going to go and hopefully see theirs this is their take on Shuki which is Moonshine um, I've managed to get well I'm going to pre-order the the masterpiece version but as I've just said I'm going to hopefully get to see these in hand sometime soon because they do look absolutely brilliant and I just think the train bots are just an ingenious idea. They're just so, so clever. And I'd love to see how they've managed to do this with a physical toy, as I say, in hand. I mean, look at it. It's just a long, well, we know what a train looks like, but then they just managed to turn it into a robot. I just think it's so, so clever. Right, now we've got some in-hand images of MBK, King of the Sniper, KR, KSR01 Prime. Now, this guy is, this is crazy. This is, as I say, that huge, long gun. And this looks really good, this alternate mode. Somebody else messaged me in the comments on the last video I did asking me if I was going to get him. And at first, well, I did say straight off, no. But I'm now having a look at him, um, I don't know. I might have to have a look at it. He looks so, so good. Too many things. There's just too many things and it's too close to Christmas. Um, you can see I've took this from tformers.com. So if you'd like to go there and have a look at the more images you can. This next thing is, again, something we know about. And this premium, again, Takara seem to be just churning these premium finish figures out. And if you like your studio things, if you like your movie figures, that is a really, really good take on, of course, the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime again. Um, and of course it is unfortunately the premium finish so that means it is that little bit more expensive than your standard one but no denying that he looks really really good what are we moving on to now right here's some strange things for you well not strange they've been around for so long now there's just so many of them this is in fact wave three already and these are they're the giant ones. So they're the Super 7 figures. They're the Super 7 and they're the Ultimate Transformers Wave 3. So they're ultimate, which means they're huge. They're quite big. Um, the one I'm going to... They're about... Some, some of them are nearly a foot. Um, the Alligator Tron. I've forgotten his name. That's not how you say it at all. Alligator Con. That's how you say it. He's 11 inches long. So this is the official new wave of them. So these are the Super 7 figures. I mean, the negative thing for me is they are non-transforming, as you can see. Uh, but they come with an absolute abundance of accessories. So there is again Alligator Con. This guy is actually in, I can't remember the exact episode. Uh, people leave in the comments for me, please. Um, exactly which episode it is. It's a G1 cartoon. Um, and yeah, they obviously never made a G1 figure of him. There you go. You can see that he's uh, going to be 11 inches long, which is huge. Again, only negative is he's non-transforming. There he is in the pack with everything that's going to be coming with him. And I just thought that was some really nice box art as well. 
Uh, of course, we've got Retgar looking really good. Loads of accessories, but I do have to say that the Studio Series 86 Retgar is just phenomenal. So probably for a bit less, to be fair, you can actually get a transforming version of this particular figure. So that for me is a no-no. This guy I like. I like G2 Megatron, but again, I'm not going to be getting it uh, for my collection. Um, I appreciate them. I think they're great. And I suppose if you're just going to be using for display, there's no reason why not. And then, of course, the final one is Tarn. And he's got loads of accessories as well. And there he is in his box. So that's the Super 7. Um, yeah, wave three of their ultimate figure. So they're much, much bigger. Right. Moving on, I've just took a picture of this just to remind me, just to tell you. So the crossover, this was the only one that I actually did really want. But the price was just ridiculous. Um, and it is, of course, the Jurassic Park one. But thankfully now, he's now available to order additional retailers uh, beyond just Amazon.com and, of course, um, Hasbro Pulse. I know in the UK, robot recruits are going to be getting them. And it's also saying on here that... Um, He's going to be available. So the sponsors of TFW 2005. So you've got TF Source, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, Robot Kingdom, Chosen Prime, Toy Jojo. Loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. So you're going to be able to get it. And you're going to be able to get it at a much cheaper price than what was initially put up. Which is brilliant. Because again, it was very expensive. Uh, very, very expensive for what it was. Next thing, again, looking good, is the Kingdom Core class. So Kingdom, they still seem to be keep dragging it out, don't they? And this was with something that we mentioned. The picture is fuzzy, but that's because I can't get a decent picture. On the, even online, if you enlarge it, it's fuzzy as well. So it's the Core class hot rod. It's looking like he's going to be eight steps. And um, the good thing is, you can see he's got his sword. So it's pretty much exactly matching up to the legacy artwork that we know is going to be coming out in that as well so um, as I say they just seem to be squeezing a few more out into the kingdom line and talking of kingdom where is it let's go with this guy first blaster already in some US stores has been found he's been literally out in retail in some US stores and again off TFW 2005 they've got some in-hand images and of course I don't know what the small figures are in front of him you'll have to excuse them this is the picture I just took straight off TFW 2005 you can see he's actually bigger than Soundwave and there is of course the cassettes I love the fact that he's got the translucent plastic looking absolutely brilliant but there he is again. You can see he's just that bit bigger than Soundwave. In fact, he's a fraction, fraction bigger looking than Optimus Prime. So I'm really excited for this guy. I think this guy is going to be brilliant, to be honest. Um, and let's just hope that a lot of him do turn up. Right. Upgrade kits. Shockwave Labs upgrade kits for Teletram 1. There's a load of pieces there. That's what you're going to be getting. If you're unsure what they are, it is two leg fillers, two arm fillers and a gun. And it's the upgrade kit, as I say, for mainframe or Teletram 1, as he's known. Let's make sure I'm not missing everything out. No. And it looks like the final thing that I'm going to be going through with you. And this is this is making its round all around social media over the net. And it might be, again, might be take it with a pinch of salt, Beast Wars Buzzor. And what they've done or what the picture we've got is it's literally just an original. It's a reuse of the Kingdom Waspinator mold with a new head sculpt. And again, the picture's not the greatest, um, but there you can see him. Potential buzzer, half of Waspinator's body, new head, and some wings at the back looking totally different, obviously, different coloured wings. And again, it's not confirmed. That's just a picture that's made its way around on the internet. So again, loads, loads is happening already. Such a good time, such a good time. There's still some great bargains to be had out there as well. Cyber Monday deals are still running. There's loads of stuff. So with regards to this channel, I'm incredibly pleased to say that a couple of the payment plan things I've been doing for the entire year, near enough, they're in the country. I've just got to sort out the customs charge and get them delivered. So fingers crossed, I'll have a really special unboxing for you guys for Monday. And then hopefully I can get a video for that done that week at some point i've still got to do the pterosaur video that i mentioned yesterday as you can see i've still not even attempted that um 
and yeah just a few of the movie figures again so a lot of the times this year i get a lot of requests so again if you want anything let me and i've got it let me know i can do a video i can do a special shout out for you over christmas etc don't mind doing that I love doing it in fact it's 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 really nice to know that just a, just a little message from me you know cheered somebody up so give me a shout if you want anything same with instagram if you need to see any pictures of anything that you're unsure of or you want to think of getting them yourself let me know if i've got it i'll get some pictures up for you but in the meantime again unless anything ridiculous that i just feel that i have to jump on and tell you drops over the weekend um i'll see you guys on monday well in fact fingers crossed as i say with a with a really special unboxing on monday morning um yeah thanks very much guys for watching take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe